Hey yo, what up everybody? Today I'm gonna show y'all how to become OP in Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, in no time. Like this shit makes you so OP, you can defeat any boss in like minutes. And it's really easy, I'm gonna show you guys how it's done, alright? So first thing obviously you wanna do, I'm gonna cut this up just to, you know, make it shorter. Obviously create a new character, so let's get right into it, you know? I bet. Alright, now we in this bitch, me and just me and y'all, we in this bitch. Alright, so I'm gonna explain to y'all uh, steps certain items you want to get honestly it's pretty easy it's not it's not a lot of shit like that's what makes it such an op build is that it's pretty basic it's pretty easy and i'm sure most of you guys probably have seen it before but i'm gonna show you the most efficient and easiest way to do all this all right so yeah buddy yeah buddy dirty diana you already know bro i already know i'm making this making this a bitch bro she, she ain't finna be the baddest bitch and lord john whatever the fuck this place is called for you to be able to pull off this op build your bitch has to be bad that's just how it is you want to pick sorcerer and bonfire aesthetic okay all right bad now we're gonna get into this all right so first things first i'll be back i don't even know how i fell off that motherfucker man give me my shit i got no souls anyways whatever all right talk to this bitch she's gonna give you the estes flask and then just walk away go rest at the bonfire not even rest just activate it and that's it man look at her she's ugly now i'm buying a body a human effigy bro there's no way i can allow this all right, and the next thing you want to do is you want to go kill this motherfucker right here. You got a set, you know? Yeah, this set gives you more souls. We don't need those souls. We don't need as much souls as we can get, you know what I mean? But let's give this guy a little one-two, one-two, bruh. Man, where the backstab at? Bruh. What the hell? Man, I'll kill you the normal way then. I'll keep doing this, bro, until you're dead. Man, I don't give a shit. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit, bruh. You pussy. Man, get fucked. Alright, get a shit and then start running up. Start making your way towards the Dragon Rider. My motherfucker gonna ride this dick, bro. Hell, what the hell they call him Dragon Rider for, bro? Ain't no dragon with him. What the hell? Dodge these losers. Pick up more souls. Human effigy? Perfect, bro. Hey, move out the way, bro. Make your way over here. Let me pop this bitch real quick. Holy fam, look at her. Now she beauty, bro. Beauty and the beast. No cap. Head over here. All you gotta do is make a simple jump. Do a nice skip, you know what I mean? And then this guy, just dodge his ass. There we go. And then get ready to equip your armor. Equip that bitch. And then once the nigga comes here, bro, just walk up right there. Doom, done. It takes, it's around like seven steps. Seven steps. He walks, and you, you start moving. You kind of like swift around him. Falls off, dies. Easy. Everybody know this, bro. Everybody in the goddamn mama knows this shit. And then you want to kill this bitch right here, bro. She acting up. She ugly as well. She's talking about she's the baddest bitch on Lord John. Hell no. What is this place even called? I don't even know, bro. You ain't the baddest bitch, bro. Knock her ass over here on the left. Just keep hitting her. If she summons her spell, you're dead. Just say goodbye. And then she gonna fall off and die. Rest of the bonfire. And then I'm just gonna organize my shit real quick. Yeah, I bet. Pick up her shit. And then head back to uh, Majula. Alright, once we're here, talk to the fire link, bitch. And then all you gotta do is level up. Uh, All you wanna do is level up. One attunement, one strength. That's it. Just for now. Just for now. Don't worry. We're gonna level up more, boys. Don't worry. And then start making your ass uh to the last giant, whatever that area is called. In between, in between little shit, shits like this, you just wanna use your souls. You know what I mean? Because you know you're, you're you're gonna wait for the door to open. You might as well you know be productive. Here, all you wanna do is run towards the wall and then move right. That's it. And then you just dodge them like that. Easy. So run towards the wall and then dodge right. You don't have to dodge. You just walk. Wait for this motherfucker to shoot. Head up the ladder. Head towards the door, open that bitch, and then once he comes over here, we're gonna make a run for the uh, witching urns. And then you wanna make sure you distract and make sure you. Hell no, the whole group is here, bro. There we go. Alright, and then you wanna run for the bonfire. You wanna be quick because this motherfucker will chase you. Nick, man, get your ass up out of here, bro. Ain't nobody invite you. You too? Hell no, bro. Alright, that's beef. Yeah, sit your ass down, bro. Uh, organize my shit a little more. Alright, and from here, you want to equip your set because we're going to be killing a lot of enemies and we're going to gain as much souls as we can. Buy the hand axe, buy the key, 10 life gems, 2 bombs, and one, one of those bitches. Then talk to her, you get your shit. I'm going to show you why, I'm gonna show you why we need all of those items. And then keep talking to her, that way she relocates to Majula. Head your ass up here, put on the, uh, the soul thing, yeah. And we go pick up some motherfucking Titanite shards. We're gonna need as much of them as we can get. Let's do a punch. Man, get your ass back here, bro. Hell no, nah, this motherfucker. Where you going, bitch? 
uh, kill him. He gives us two Titanite shards, and then we just buy the rest from uh, the blacksmith. Head up to this door, and then shoot this bitch. There you go. Pick up the green blossom. It's going to help us later on in the boss fight. Here, just walk up here. Walk to the side. And now what's it called? Pick up these shits. These motherfuckers are trying to gank you. Holy, look at these motherfuckers. Use your soul arrow. Fucks them up faster and from a distance. I'm the baddest bitch here, bro. Pick that up for more souls. And then you want to make your way over uh, over here. And then use, uh, use, use like four witching urns to like knock out these motherfuckers. Because they come in groups, bro. Look at these pussies. Yeah, buddy. Sit down. What you doing? Alright, now that they're all dead. Just uh, pick up this. It's going to be an erratic ooze, whatever it's called. Or erratic, whatever the bullshit it's called. Use that to buff up our weapon so it can kill the last giant a little bit quicker. And you don't have to worry about opening up in that door. We're not going to come back here. Pick up the fire arrows and then make your way down here. Equip that. Use some souls. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to kill this bitch. Alright, all you got to do. Keep hitting him, and then once he uh, once he does his like phase where he pulls out his arm, use a witching urn, and then keep hitting him again. He should be dead. Run up here, boom, 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 boom. The only annoying part is he does like a triple step attack. It's some bullshit. Hopefully he doesn't do it. We get good RNG so far. And once he's halfway, he's gonna start switching. He'll throw one of those. Cause when you throw it, you don't you don't uh, use stamina when you throw it. Yeah, see, easy, boom. Equip your shit. And then make your way back over here. Man, get the hell out of the way, bro. Make your way back to uh, Pursuer. And this guy, we just straight up just fuck him up. We don't even need to attack him. We don't even need this bitch. Watch, discard. We use a catapult. And then you got this guy run up to here. Dodge when he comes like that. Go to the catapult. And just shoot. Grab it again. Shoot. And make sure, make sure not to shoot too early. Otherwise, it'll cancel the animation. So you want to wait for it to be fully loaded. And then you just shoot. Done, done, and done. And then make your ugly ass all the way over here. We're going to pop our souls. You need to get this key so you can talk to the blacksmith in this area. So you can do like the upgrading shit. I'm taking off all my equipment because we're going to have to fall down the gutter. And the less equipment you have, the more the less fall damage like you take. So unequip everything right now. Get the fire arrow. It's a precautionary backup in case the, the wall doesn't blow up. So we need four of these. We already have two. Uh, what's it called? We got to go buy the rapier. We're going to be using the rapier. I mean, of course, every fucking OP build requires a rapier. It's the most OP weapon. Go to uh, the Firekeeper and level up uh, two. Well, we started at, we started as a sorcerer, so we we already have fourteen intelligence. So just level up two more. Get fourteen faith, twelve dexterity to equip the uh, rapier, six uh, strength, and then two in vigor. So we survive the fall. And this is just extra. So all you gotta do. I mean, I don't really, you don't need to do this, but I just buy these because they're super cheap early in the game. Uh, so just, I mean, if you want, you could buy those now. It'd be, it'll help you later on in the game. Make you even more OP. Pick up two of these just to, for later on. And then a cat ring. So equip the uh, cat ring right now. Oh, and also, also equip the uh, ring of blades. And then all you gotta do is jump down here. Roll down like that. Easy. I almost fell down. That would've been sad. And then make your ass down here. And right here pop another life gem roll right here easy and pick up this the ring of the evil eye gives you HP when you kill an enemy and then just fall down here yeah buddy pick up one more bone and then equip everything back and then make sure you kill this lizard okay this lizard has a key component that we need so I usually just do a plunge and attack pull out my soul arrow and then he just dies like that easy Pick up his shit. He has a dark night stone. We're gonna need that later on. These motherfuckers just snipe them, bro. Use your homer boom before the other one comes. And from here, so we got we already got one component, the dark night stone, because we're gonna be infusing it into the rapier and it's gonna do massive, massive damage. So just make your way over here. Uh since we killed uh that ugly ass bitch earlier, we don't need to pay her, so we just pop that and then it's gonna move by itself for free. Alright, so we only we only want one thing. It's gonna be uh the dark weapon. Once you get the dark weapon, that's it, get the fuck out. That's all we need, dark weapon. So what do I tune spells? I usually just equip you know the dark weapon in this in case I need to snipe some motherfuckers. So the great soul arrow that we got from that little room where the gank was. And then make your way back to whatever this place right here. Because right now it's plus three, we're gonna get plus six. Easy. So uh, I usually just equip my shit. Alright, when I come around here, there's gonna be one large tanite right there. Drop down here, kill this motherfucker, pull out the 
fire bow. Shoot that. All of them gonna die except for one. Most of the times it kills uh, all three of them, but whatever. And then once you're here, just uh, load your uh, put the, apply dark weapon and open this chest. It's gonna have a fragment branch of yore. We're gonna need that to get to the ruin sentinels. And then this motherfucker's gonna come out. I usually kill him because it gives me like a lot of souls. So I would just you know kill him. Bitch, know yourself, bro. What the hell do you think this is? Oh hell, he gonna kill me. There you are. So yeah, just parry him, and that that one you can't parry still. So just roll and hit him, parry, hit him, like three or four times. Get your shield back out, parry. Once you get the, once you get the timing right, super super easy. You just get used to it. There we go. That motherfucker didn't land a single hit that time. So yeah, he gives us like what 10k souls. It's gonna be a lot. I mean, like I said, we need as much souls as possible to to buy the items to level up and all that shit. So run up here. There's another large Titanite shard. Pick that up as soon as he makes his way up top. Shoot that bitch. He falls down. We only have five after all of that, so I just buy one more. And then reinforce this bitch to plus six. And then I just reinforce this because I like it, you know. And then infuse Dark Reaper. There you go. We have a Dark Knight Stone. And boom. Make our way to the Rune Sandals. I'm going to pop uh, the Green Blossom. Recover more stamina faster. Pop the Dark Weapon. Make your way down. And watch this shit. So this guy's gonna do an attack, you can just walk around, hit him a couple of times. Look at that damage, bro. That yeah, that attack you can just walk around. And then once you kill him, head towards this guy right here. He's gonna do like a jump attack every time, I don't know why. Motherfucker, that should have worked. Alright, hell no, I ain't risking that the motherfucker jump down. Watch out for both of them now, never mind. Ayo, I fucked up. Ayo, that's not fair, bro. Alright, that's the one that we're damaging. Yeah, buddy, what's up? He be dead. All right, now we can focus this guy. Usually, usually you can kill the second guy before the third guy even falls down, but I fucked up. Our right, dark weapon went off. But it's no problem. There you go. Spawn fire. Apply dark weapon because there's gonna be another pursuer down here. I'm gonna fuck his ass up. Nah, you ain't doing shit. Twinkling tie knights. All right, just pick those up because honestly, why not? They're twinkling tie knights. So, all right. Make your way over here. Apply dark weapon. Because we're going to fight another pursuer. There's so many of these guys in uh, the Scholar of the First Sand. Pick up the green blossom. He's going to spawn right there. Is that all you got? Nah. That was too clean. Nah, son. Nah. And then you want to jump over here. Pick up this flame butterfly. We might need it later on when we're uh, fighting Duke's Dear Freya. Jump here. We go and then pop another dark weapon because it's gonna be the one more pursuer. There we go, that's the last one. Uh, kill these dogs, run up here. We're gonna pick up our second bonfire aesthetic, head up here, and then just you'll get in. And that's it. And then once you get up, just drop down right here where the item is, right there. Just drop, just get a walk down. That's it. All you gotta do is walk down, and then pop your homeward bone. I forgot to mention that. Uh, the Brightstone Cove, where the you know where the spiders are, that's where the Titanite chunks are. So we're gonna finish basically our set over there. Literally the next area to come. Pop this. Pop one of these. You fucked up. Nah. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, just pop the Bright Bug. You get reduced damage, uh, and you do so much more fucking damage. All right, pick this up. Back to Majula. All right, now that we're back here, first things first, priority. Let's fucking pop a human effigy, bro. This bitch is ugly. I can't stand to watch her no more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Lord. All right, and now we're going to finish up our, uh, our leveling up. Like I said, watch watch my uh, R1 weapon in the top right corner. Look at the damage. See, if you, if you only level up one, it won't do that much more. Uh, it won't increase the damage that much more. But if you do them at the same time, then look at that. Holy, look at that go up. But if I do like 33, it doesn't really do that much. So I usually I just stop at 30. See right there, it didn't even change at all. Uh, I'm gonna low. Honestly, the rest is preference. I just do a lot of I do a lot of uh, endurance, vigor, just cause why not? Yeah. So the rest is preference. But 30 intelligence, 30 faith, you're set. Like we do so much damage. We do 326 per hit, and that's not including plus 10, and we haven't even, and that's not including the buff. So alluring the uh, skulls I bought earlier. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use them right now to distract these guys. And like I said, that uh, 
that fragment branch of the artist used we just found that in the chest uh, after the lost center so it's actually crucial you pick up that chest let's just stick to the right side and i just pick out my shield just in case uh and then it keeps sticking to the right side you motherfucker and once you once you like start to go up the hill and then you know you want to see this tree hit this tree that's going to distract the the ghost enemies from coming after you make your way over here up this little fucking little i don't know little pathway open up this chest and if you don't hit that tree they'll literally come behind you and backstab you so you want to hit that tree to distract them and in that chest was the calamity ring plus one so that's going to be really useful we don't need green blossoms anymore so this area i don't even need the rest of the bonfire you just make your way over here and uh we're going to pick up a few titanite chunks from here so we can level up our rapier to plus nine yeah so titanite chunk right there all right kill this lizard right here you make sure to kill his ass otherwise if he gets away run all the way back all right so he gives us one tiny ch one tiny chunk we're gonna need that of course start fucking hitting on this ugly ass bitch this knockoff quay leg fucking ass stick to her uh stick to her side of the body so just she does that attack then you can just keep hitting her she's gonna keep doing it again like the dumb bitch she is and there you go she dead nothing we need in this area so just keep running to the right hold up what kind of damage was that yeah you can just poise this guy once you hit him like twice, so you don't have to worry about nothing. And then you want to pick up the last bonfire aesthetic. Plunge attack, this lizard right here. So what I do is I run towards him and just plunge. There we go. And he gives us another tiny chunk. There's one right there, tiny chunk. The lizard doesn't drop any chunks, so you don't have to worry about him. He drops the twinkling tiny, but like I said, I'm only using the rapier, so pick this up. And that's the last one. And then I just open up this door in advance, just so I don't have to worry about it later. And return back to, we're going to go back to Majula. And then we're going to finally upgrade this guy. There we go, plus nine. And then we got the Titanite slab. We got two, actually. I think we got one from a lizard, so there you go. And then I just upgrade this, too, because why not? Well, I'll buy all of them. Yeah, sure, why not? Buy more life gems. 30. There we go. And now we finally got a plus 10 dark rapier. And let's show you guys the damage on this bitch when we go fight Dukes Dear Freya. Since we're going to be respawning Dukes Dear Freya three times, we want to get this bonfire. Because the one above doesn't actually respawn him. If you pop a bonfire aesthetic up there, it's not going to respawn him. You have to re you have to, uh, you have to use it at this bonfire to, uh, to respawn him again. So I'm just going to light up a torch. Just so we don't have to worry about the spiders. And then if you want, there's even a soul of hero right here. So pick that up. Every time we use the bonfire aesthetic, it respawns, so it's even more souls. Enter here. Spiders are going to ignore you. Run to the right. He's going to do the same attack every time. So you can just run to the right, and yeah, he won't do shit. And then in the meantime, you can just kill these guys. Uh, what I like to do is I just pull out my staff and snipe. They're going to come after you, but you can just one-shot them with your staff. And then make sure to run around this guy. one more and then pop our dark weapon and we're good to go all right now look at this damage look at that you motherfucker bro look at that damage he's gonna pop his head right now yeah pop that pussy dead so fast there you go and then boom back to the uh, bonfire I'm going to show you guys what it's like on uh, New Game Plus. Even with New Game Plus and New Game Plus 2 and 3, we still do a crazy amount of damage. Alright, now we're on New Game Plus. Obviously, the spiders have more health, but that's okay. You can you can either keep the keep the the, the torch and just uh, hit on Duke's Ear Freya, but I like to maximize damage by two-handing it. Oh, let's see. Is that going to reach? Yeah. Run to the side. Sometimes they're idiots. Don't even come after you. Watch out for her. Watch out for the boss. It's gonna watch out you on new game. All right, and then apply dark. Oh shit. Oh, we're good. All right, let's see the damage on new game plus. Still really good damage. Yo, man, do some simple attacks. There we go. Stupid ass. Oh shit, that might kill me. Oh, thank God I dodged it. Yo, chill, bro. What the hell are you doing? All right, there we go. Put on the set. Get some more souls. And boom, 125,000 souls. Plus 
the hero and the two well obviously the two souls that we killed her for and then a new game plus she gives you an old paladric soul which gives you like what twenty thousand sixty thousand that's a lot of fucking souls so basically what you would do is you would just burn another bonfire skedic kill her again pop the souls get the soul of hero pop that soul too come back pop another bonfire skedic because we still have one more after this and by then you'll literally have a yeah you'll literally have a million souls to go to the shrine of winter and progress through the game yeah you can either buy more of these 54,000, pretty crazy but you know they do a lot of damage so or you can level up instead of using that money to buy the uh, bright bucks but you can even do both but 54,000 souls is a lot so in my instance leveling up decks wouldn't do that much more damage like right now it's only added four more or three more it's not really worth it so i just do adaptability to increase my dodging uh the max is like 36 to get 110 agility and but you know you could do more strength if you want to start using other weapons later on in the game or you know uh, more endurance more hp let's do like cause honestly you might need a little bit more hp because they're i mean they might one shot you like a new game new game plus three she's probably gonna one shot you either way but it's good to have the more hp for like the side enemies you know the spiders and shit and that's basically it plus 10 dark rapier a dark weapon here's the build overall and we're not even done yet because we haven't killed her two more times because we still have two more bonfire aesthetics the one i just popped and the one i have right now so yeah that's basically it i mean this shit's op as fuck this, this will take you a long ass way you'll pretty much de like demolish every single boss in the game on your way and you'll be in the fucking throne in no time so that's it right there appreciate y'all take it easy